Emma Foster is a well-adjusted high school senior. A cheerleader since she was 10 who wants to study engineering in college. I like math. It's like my favorite subject in school. Like many 17-year-olds, she sometimes exasperates her parents. I think her favorite hobby is talking to her boyfriend <laughs> um, while she's doing her homework. The way Emma began her life, however, was unlike any of her peers. I think it's really cool, actually, because it makes me like different and unique. She was conceived using the DNA of three different people, her mother, father, and an egg donor. It's like the sperm and the egg went together, and then they took the cytoplasm from like a donor, and they used that, so that way I had a, like a healthy food source or energy source. The procedure was experimental, so it's actually not done on many patients. Dr. Jacques Cohen performed the unusual fertility treatment on 33 couples between 1996 and 2001 at St. Barnabas Medical Center in New Jersey. 17 babies were born as a result of the three-person donation, including Emma. Thank Pleasure. you. Thank you for everything. Pleasure. Susan Foster was overjoyed to give birth after seven years of trying to conceive through in vitro fertilization. The feeling of being pregnant, feeling a child move inside of you, it was just amazing. She's a blessing and she's a miracle and medical science made that possible. Cytoplasmic uh, transfer is uh, the movement of a little bit of cytoplasm from a donor egg into a patient egg. Cytoplasm is the fluid part of the cell, it's the machinery of the cell. The Fosters later adopted another child after the three-person treatment was no longer available. The procedure was stopped in 2001 uh, because the FDA um, argued that a, a, a special permit should be obtained. It wasn't banned, it was just halted. Cohen followed up with the families recently. The results published this week in the journal Reproductive Biomedicine Online. <laughs> well, last time I saw Emma, she was uh, about eight cells. <laughs> so, so. Cohen says the kids have no unusual health problems and all have good grades. Not everybody is convinced that the new work shows it's safe to use a third party's genetic material. But Emma hopes her story convinces skeptics otherwise. Hopefully if people were to see this, then they could see that it's like safe and uh, I turned out normal. <laughs> A teenager ready for the next chapter in her life. Ted Shaffrey, Associated Press, Livingston, New Jersey.